Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what is immutable row ID object and what is distinct source system. So this configuration like immutable row ID object and distinct source system, you can see under the match and merge setup of any of the base object. Particularly, this is more important Particularly, whenever you are going to master any organization data or customer data or any product data, you configure the match and merge rules on that particular base object. On the same match and merge rule setup, there is one screen called as a merge setting. So that means what are the settings we are going to configure here are more relevant for the merge process. So in this setting, Particularly in the merge setting, you can see the very first property is immutable row ID object. Then we have the distinct source, distinct systems, and third we have the unmerge child when parent unmerges. Even though this system or uh, this property looks very simple, but internally it behaves very different or they have very distinct behavior. So let's start with what is immutable row ID object. Whenever you uh, see the immutable row ID object we should see actually some kind of row ID object instead of that we are we are able to see the source system I will show you how it works so whenever you acquire the right log you can see in front of the immutable row ID object you can see n number of source system which are already configured in the MDM hub so assume that one of the source system we are assuming DNB so if any record coming from the DNB, DNB stands for Duns and Bad Street, which is the one of the well-known uh, data providing system for mastering a business data. So suppose DNB is one of the source to the MDM and what are the record we are getting from the DNB? We want those record should retain their raw ID object throughout its lifetime. So in such cases, we configure the row ID object, immutable row ID object. So let's have let's have a detailed view on this configuration. So it is just saving that. So what is immutable source? Immutable source is a source from which record from that source source system will be accepted as a unique. And once a record from the source has been fully consolidated, it will not be changed subsequently. I will explain you what does actually mean. The very first thing is immutable source. Whenever you configure any source for immutable raw object that source called as a immutable source means record coming from that source is accepted as a unique as soon as those enters into the MDM system so no need to run match and merge on such record that means whenever the record comes from the immutable source the consolidation indicator of such record is always one so no need to run the match and merge process on such record that that it it is the meaning of the it is accepted as as a unique once the record from that source has been fully consolidated we cannot change its raw ID object raw ID object will be always constant that is the underlying meaning of it cannot be changed so it is the raw ID object which cannot change throughout its time the other attribute such as first name last name SSN or the full name those attributes can be changed but we cannot change it's a raw ID object what are the cases during which the raw ID object changes the raw ID object changes if the multiple record merges into one record in case of the in, in case of the immutable source other records will get merged into this immutable record and the final record which is get created will have the the raw ID object corresponding to this immutable source distinct source distinct source is a source 
data from that source get inserted into the base object without being consolidated so th that is the testing source so these are the two things one is immutable source and second is a distinct source and if you remember these all these properties are configured at the merge setting level we have the additional details here Im about the immutable source immutable source system is an immutable source means that record from the source systems are accepted as a unique that means consolidation indicator will be one even in the event of merge so even the merge process is going on before that itself it become the consolidation indicator one immutable source system streamlines the load match and merge process by preventing intra source matches and automatically accepting records from the immutable source as a unique that means the two record are quite similar in the immutable source system those will not match together that means intra matching is not allowed means but that record the record from the immutable source for that re that record the other source system records can match with this immutable source record immutable source system record cannot match to the record from the any other source system although other records can be matched to it that is what i explain here in the record from the immutable source this will not match with any other record but the other records can match with can match with the immutable source system record if two immutable record must be merged then data steward has to play a vital role because as per the rule two record from the immutable source cannot be merged so data steward has to come forward and merge it manually after verifying the record manually at that point informatica mdm hub allows the data steward to choose the key that remains that means which record to win that will be decided by the data steward only one source system can be configured as a immutable source so in the mdm hub configuration you can see you we have the drop down of the source system out of all the sources you can choose one of the source for contributing immutable roid object i'm more repeatedly repeating it like immutable roid object not immutable record the record can be changed but the raw immutable roid object the roid cannot be roid object cannot be changed for the immutable source system immutable sources are always distinct systems so there are two system one is immutable roid object or immutable source system and the second is distinct so what is distinct means distinct means the record from that source system are cannot be matched with each other they are accepted as a unique so which we have seen here the record the data from the system get inserted into base object without being consolidated that means the those not no necessary has to be consolidated but the record from the distinct source ca itself cannot merge within that system cannot be the other records can match and merge with the distinct record distinct uh, records from the distinct source system an immutable system itself is a distinct source system however the additionally on top of the distinct source system that means intra match is not allowed in the distinct system on top of that the raw id object we cannot change for the if the if the uh, we can say in other words if the system is distinct system and in the distinct system if we cannot change the raw id object then such a distinct system is called as a immutable raw id object system little more about distinct source a distinct system or distinct source provides data that gets inserted into base object without being consolidated records from a distinct system will never match with each other records records from the same system that means if there are two records coming from the distinct system and those are very quite similar even though they are similar they will not match because they are coming from the distinct source system but they can be matched to the to or from other records from the other system which is having the, oh, for those record which are having the consolidation indicator as a four 
We can specify distinct source system and configure whether for each source system record or consolidated automatically or manually. Where can we see that? So if you go to the MDM hub, you can see you can configure n number of system as a distinct system. You can configure particular source system distinct only for the auto rules. What are the match rules? We have we have two types of match rules. One is auto match rules and the second other one is manual match rules. So if you want to configure your distinct system only for auto match rules, then you can configure. If you want to configure for manual match rules, you can configure. If you if you just deselect this, it will be if you select this, it will be applicable for the auto rules only. And then we have the immutable ROID object. Here only one source we can configure. Every immutable source system is a distinct system by default. That means if you here if you suppose DNB we have manual set it is distinct. Even if even if you don't select this distinct for DNB and if you choose the immutable ROID object as DNB, this DNB is treated as a distinct source system. Records from distinct source will not match through a transit match in a auto match and merge process. What is transient match? That means record one matches to two, two matches to three. So if that match sequence happen in your process, then transit match result gives one matches to three. So if the records are coming from the distinct source, they will not match to the transit match. So suppose one and three, suppose are coming from distinct source and two is coming from some other source and in 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 that case two can match with one two can match with three and that is thing happen assume that two is matched with one and two is matched with three in that case one is matched to two two is matched to three one one should match with three but that will not happen in the case of distinct source one will not match with a three as per the distinct match rule or di distinct source behavior the property which we just saw, auto rules only, which is applicable for the distinct systems only, we can enable this option to allow to configure what type of rules are executed for the associated distinct source system. If you select the corresponding auto rules only option in MDM hub to apply only automatic consolidation rules not to the manual consolidation rules for this distinct system by default this option is disabled we can say it's already we saw that so these are the details about the distinct and immutable ROID object so let's have a demo on it in order to prepare a demo what we have created we have created three table first is base object the name of base subject is CBO party. We have created four staging table, one for CRM, one for DNB, one for source one and one for source two. And then we have corresponding landing table, CL party, CLDG party. CRM, uh, uh, DNB, uh, I wrongly spell it's a DNG, but it is actually DNB. You can see here it's uh, coming from source DNB then source 1 source 2 you can configure n number of sources there is no limit here in the match and merge setting I have configured DNB as a immutable ROID object then CRM as a distinct and DNB as a also distinct we have selected this option we are going to apply for the all the rules so auto rules only is not selected in match and merge setup we have configured a person name which is the fuzzy match key column which has a full name as a column selected from the our base object we have created one match rule that is based on the person name it is only one match rule we have which will match on the full name and it is again the auto match rule which is fuzzy so these are the basic configuration we have at the database side in the landing table we can see there are a few records like Mike U Paul as a full name coming from DNB 
then we have mic u1 pole coming from dnb mic e pole from crm mic e e pole again from crm and we have similar michael pole and michael e pole from the source one and source two respectively if you notice there are two records from dnb two records from crm and we are going to see how it works whether this all these record will get merged into one or they will create a separate records we'll see so as per the if you see the record those are quite similar all records should get merged into one but if it has the crm as well as dnb dnb is a immutable body object system and crm is a actual distinct system so let's see what will happen so these are the records in our system so let's run a state job so we'll go into the batch viewer we'll quickly run the state job first we are running the job a state job for the crm system and we know for the crm system we have two records similarly let's run for the dnb as well We have the other jobs like source one and source two. Let me do a refresh. Normally it should not take this much time. Now I can see there are so DNB if you remember there are two record. Let me run for source one. Source one has one record. Source 2 also has the one record, so there should not be any issue. So we just running the stage job. We are not running load job yet. So CRM also completed with the two two records loaded. Let's run the CRM load job for CRM. So you can see job is running. Meanwhile, I will write a query which will pull the records from the base object. If you remember, we just ran the load job for the CRM. So we'll see how many record get inserted. Now here we can see there are two record get inserted. CRM is a distinct system. Consolidation indicator is four. Last row object is CRM. Hubstead indicator one and the other records are loaded accordingly. So this record is the record with uh, suppose SSN 554 and 12129 should not get matched within themselves. That is that is the rule says. Now what I'll do I will run the the job uh, job for the DNB source. So what rule says whenever we load the record from the immutable source dnb is a immutable source in that case the record should be accepted as a con with the consolidation indicator one let me run this now you can see i have not run the match and merge job but still the consolidation indicator of this record is one so that means it is treated as a unique in the system so if you see the dnb record has the SSN as a 1212 and 555 and it is mic U. U is we are just for distinguishing for the DNB system. Now we'll run the remaining two jobs for the source one and source two. It's it's not uh, it is just for the understanding, they are not have that much significance for us. It should just load one record in the system. there will be corresponding excerpt record will be populated in the excerpt table so we are done with the loading the records let's check the now all the records in the cbo table now we can see there are total six record two records with the consolidation indicator one because they are coming from dnb which is immutable source source one and source two have the corresponding record and crm also have the two record now what we'll do 
will run the match and merge and let's see what will happen i will not generate the tokens because i am expecting tokens will generate when i run over at a match and merge rule so i am just running this it will by default because we have only one match rule set it will select what are the default one ideal so no need to explicitly select here the match set let me let it run normally it takes few like couple of minutes to ex complete the job it actually first generate the token and then it go populate the match table of the match job and then actually it merge so within itself it execute three jobs so that is the reason normally it takes time so if you see the records tokenize is six records match three records atom merge three because it gone through the atom merge job accepted as a one auto queued for the atom merge three now let's go and see how it looks now we can see actually there are three record what happened so let's see we will analyze this so if you remember record with u1 okay so we'll see what is it's a contributing record so there is only one record from the dnb one record from crm and one record from the source 2 is there now what we'll do we'll first pull the record from the x-ray and we'll see what are the raw id objects of this x-ray record where raw id system equal to dnb so what we are trying to do we'll see what are the what are the record which won in the base object raw id object orig raw id object so we'll see here so original raw id object is 3 and 4 and now the current raw id object also 3 and 4 that means let me pull uh, the first full name also and also SSM. okay so now we'll get the details means if the record is raw id object we cannot change in the base object for the dnb source so those raw id objects are always winner particular for the immutable source system so if you see my q and my q1 those are coming from dnb that's correct it has the raw id object 3 and 4 which is the winner that means those are present in the base object because 3 and 3 3 is the original raw id object and 4 is also original raw id object which is also corresponding to the uh, source dnb which is immutable source and this row id object you will see in the base object if you see 3 and 4 are also survived in the base object because these are coming from the source the values which will win we will see from which record those are coming in order to de determine what we'll do what are the here i will add the condition where row id object equal to 3 what i'm doing i'm just picking one of the row id object from the D, uh, dnb and i'll get all the details corresponding to that so here i can see this is the winner row id object i will also get the row id system that will also tell us which are the record got merged now you can see the first record the third record is dnb okay uh, one also got merged with the three five also got merged with the three six also got merged with the three five and six are coming from source two and source one respectively one is coming from crm that is from the record record crm is sending one which is get merged into three the value for dnb is mike you paul one two one two 
Now that is for the corresponding to row ID object 3. Let's go back and check. For the row ID object 3, actual record is Mike U Paul, which is not survive, but it survive Michael E Paul with the SSN 123. Let's see what are these values are coming from. These values must be coming from some other source and those are coming from source source 2. It is not necessary from which source is coming. It is important for the immutable row ID object system is that maintain the row ID object. If you enable any particular source system to maintain a unique row ID object throughout its lifetime, then its row ID object does not change over the period of time. It is always winner. Row ID object is always winner. Other attributes can be changed. Now let's pick some other record from the CBO party. Let me pick the row ID object 2. So row ID object, row ID object 1 that is coming from CRM is merged into row ID 3 and row ID object 2 is again CRM. If you remember CRM is a distinct source. That means other records can match with the CRM but the record within source cannot match. That means CRM and CRM records will not match whether they will form they will form their own records. That is the reason a record 1 get merged into record 3 because those are two different system. But record 1 and record 2 are coming from the same source system. That is the reason they did not ma match and merge. Let's say the third record which is unique and that is nothing but row ID object 4. We saw the record row ID object 3 and 2 and we are saying row ID object 4. If you see ROID object 4, it is DNB record and it is always unique. That means that record will not match within itself, but it will be accepted as a unique at the load time itself. That means this record will not have the consolidation indicator 4. That is the reason this is not going to ma match and merge with the other system, for example, CRM system, because this record is already got consolidated. So, but the record with consolidation indicator 4 can match which is the coming from the from the uh, the source called as CRM. In this case it did not match with it because they don't have enough tokens to match. So this is the ex uh, example of immutable and distinct source system. Very basic underline is if you declare any source system as an immutable we cannot change its row ID object. If you declare any distinct source system, then the records within that system cannot match. So those are the basic rules behind the immutable row ID object system and the distinct system. Now what we'll do, we will update few of the record. For example, if you remember source to contribute to the record one, okay. Uh, record 3. So I will, I will try to update the source 1 and let's see because currently source 2 is winner. I'm trying to update the record from the source 1. Let's do that. I'm adding just H word so that I can distinguish let me commit it so i updated let me update it's a last update date so that my record get considered for actual processing and commit so i have just updated source one so let's run the source one but before that just let me show you what we updated we have the michael h paul with uh, 223234 in the base object I will show you what we have for the record 3 we have Michael E Paul with 1 2 3 as a SSN okay so let's run the source 1 job particularly we have to run first match uh, sorry first stage job for source 1 We can see the record one got loaded because there is one just record there for that source. Learning source one load job. 
it should update that record we can see record is updated particular excerpt record updated and let's see what happened now this is the row, row 3 it is not survived uh, means it is just updated its xrep now what i'll do i will update the other record like assume corresponding to 3 we have two record one is coming from crm one is from dnb source 2 is currently winner I will just update the distinct one. Let's see what will happen, which is the one. Okay. So we have the record called my key poll 554 SSN 554 SSN 554. Let's update with uh, E2. Just update the full name with E2 and commit it and we'll run the CRM job. So let's see what will happen now. Now we are going to first run the party staging job for the CRM. It will definitely load one record in the staging. Oh, it actually loaded two record. The two record because, let me see. I might have updated this one. Okay, E2. Okay, we'll see in the staging what record it is sending. Quickly, we'll see because it should say one record instead of two. We'll see why it is saying two records. C S T G C R M R T. It says P K source one zero zero three and one zero zero seven okay 1003 and 1007 okay the reason it loaded because might be delta detection is not on and it is all the records loaded that's fine no problem for that so that's fine and we'll run the crm job at that time actually it should update only one record because there is just one change oh uh, no action it says oh no action is because we have not changed the last update date so let me just update the last update date for one record or the other option i have i can just select this i have the force select the force update and it will update the two record because it, in the staging there are two records so you can see it except updated too and it also updated the base object that means whenever you make any change in the distinct record it has impact on the base object so how can i verify go to the base object now corresponding to 3 the ssn was 1 to 3 it is also 1 to 3 and it says my key poll my key poll the records are not updated even it still says it's updated let me see it's last update date so 5 july july that's fine 5 june it's very strange okay what i'll do now i'll go ahead and update from the dnb itself let's try out that so we'll go ahead and update the dnb record let me get the dnb record the dnb record is three with a ssn is one two one two so dnb record connected meanwhile I will show you um, what are the configuration whether uh, any trust level configuration we have made no need to make any configuration at a trust level just source system I would like to show you so I have configured this many source system there is no other additional configuration required 
so it is just straight straightforward a uh, configuration let me check I think it's trying to disconnect let me disconnect it okay it's disconnected okay close that's fine let me open it so it is data so I would like to check uh, the DNB source with uh, with SSN is one to one two. If you go here is SSN is one to one two and we are going to update this record as a U2. You'll also update its uh, full name and we'll change the date as a new date and just commit it and we'll run the DNB state job and other jobs let's see what will happen now we are updating the dnb record as per the documentation it says we will not able to update the record update the record it it's it means during the merge process or any regular update will not able to update its a uh, object ROID object will be always constant throughout its uh, lifetime that is the meaning we can update its parameters so we are just updating no action updated xref let me do refresh let me run it okay it's okay so okay let's try out something else let's try out with the updating source too I'm updating ER so we have seen now I'm going to run the source too this is very interesting right so how it's behavior if the record is coming from the same source we are trying that scenario So we can see the one record loaded we are running the source two. now we can see no action that's wonderful and we have to again see and we can see for the ROID object 3 the record is not updated so that is nothing but immutable now if you update any other records like let's update the record with ROID object 2 okay which is having SSN as a 12129 now I am going to update the SSN 1212 record here I will update like E1 EE1 Let's try out this. Change its date. And this is from CRM. I'm running the CRM mapping now. This will execute CRM map job. So even it's uh, it's they they are not we do not have the delta detection that is the reason it loaded through records but it actual update will happen on the one record so let's say I updated the CRM record let's check out the base object now you can see the record got updated with the EE1 that is what I updated that means the record from the immutable source system is not updatable it is always accepted as unique but if record is from this thing we can update that record or if it is normal source then we can update that record i hope this tutorial will help you to understand 
how immutable source system works, how distinct source system works. If you have any questions or queries, you can mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time.